Hello everyone, I'm the Templar Gamer. Welcome to Let's Play CK2 with the Conclave DLC. So, this is going to actually be my uh, third kind of attempt at this. Um, I deleted all the other uh, attempts because of, uh, well, pretty much just, I didn't really see a reason to put them up there. Also, I wanted to reuse the um, thumbnail because I'm a lazy asshole. But yeah, so I would start, because we have the Conclave DLC it makes being a vassal way cooler, I would have started in Stamford Bridge. Uh, beginning, but since I want to actually make the Holy Roman Empire, we're going to have to start in uh, the Old Gods. I can't start in Charlemagne because if we go to Charlemagne really quick, Galray is actually held by the uh, by the king. And I don't feel like being the king, so we're just going to play in the Old Gods beginning under uh, King Wolfringia. I will be doing a uh, ruler designer and make him look a little cooler. Whatever, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, the the coat of arms is really what I care about, to be honest. That's uh, it's actually really hard to see on this uh, like. It's hard to see what freaking. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I kind of like this, but you know, we'll make a really complicated one. No, I should pause the video while we make it. So I'm gonna go make this. Okay, this is a really there's like a lot of options here, and I'm just not very good with it. So this this is our coat of arms. It's not super nice at all. That's what I'm going to stick with. Actually, maybe I should switch around these guys. I get anything cool here. Should I like a cross? That's probably smart because we're going to be in the Templar Dynasty. Yeah, might as well. As long as it's red, I guess. I, want, I like red on my little banner. Okay, whatever. That's fine. So our first name... Maybe something I can... Wolfgang. Okay. Dynasty. Caps lock is on for whatever reason. Templar, Germanic, German. Our education will be. I like being a. I like being one of these guys. I'll do a skilled tactician because I can change that later. I can, it can be upgraded, I mean. Start off wounded. That's just an easy thing because you recover from that and you actually get a good trait. I'd like to be a genius. It's gonna put us as really, really old, and we have to go take a bunch of other stuff. Um, hmm. Deceitful, not shy, arbitrary, no, cynical, sure, trusting, no. I can be stubborn. Don't really want to be stubborn. Oh, we have to take a bad trait. Slothful, no, that's really bad. Gluttonous, also pretty bad. Hmm. There's nothing else I can really take. I guess gluttonous is, is what I would take. Actually, I can. You know, I'll go take slothful too. You know, that's really bad. Just because maybe I can get rid of these. My character will be really young. So yes, yeah, so we are Wolfgang Templar, Count Wolfgang, Wolfgang Templar of Gelray. Do Iron Man. It won't give us any achievements because whatever. Because, um, oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it won't give us any achievements because we changed our character. That's just because you can go over to, like, your liege and make him, like, a heretic, like, horrible person, make so everyone hates him. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I didn't realize this guy was actually free. That's kind of cool. This guy's arrived at our court. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm not going to go into too many details about this new mod, because uh, I'm horrible at explaining things. And trust me, I'm going to try to explain stuff, and you guys are going to see how freaking horrendous I am. Why the hell are you doing this? No. You're a freaking steward. And you didn't change the steward. Cool. Resign. All of you should resign. I'm going to put you at the best things possible. So you are a spy master. It's like, why, why did the game put you guys at such bad positions? You, make the Pope love me, because he probably hates me right now. Make someone commander of Gelray. You study tech, so maybe you'll die because you don't really like me that much. Go here, make the Byzantine Emperor hate me. Collect taxes, you make our troops badass, and now we need to fabricate claims. So one thing I will say really quick is that a big issue that we had before um, 
when I tried doing this campaign was that the crown law was always a big issue. Now, though, it's not so much. So um, this is sort of, uh, we need to change this a little bit. We are probably going to have to go and vote for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, where is it? Late administration. We won't be able to do that for a while, though, unfortunately, just so we can get primogeniture. We don't need our... There's no crown law anymore, which I think is awesome. I always thought crown law was a little bit of a weird thing, because it was just something that slowly inched up every time your character... You know, you got a new character. But, you know, there's all this council crap. The council's super weak in our case. Like, the council can do nothing. They're just... The only thing that's there is that it's there. It just exists. That's it. In fact, uh, well, tell us what sort of... Carlo Lingen hegemony. I don't really know what that means. Um, but yeah, so pretty much we can go declare war on anyone now because there's no crown law. No matter what, he can enforce peace and do that crap, which sucks, but uh, that'll only happen for a few months and we can even maybe bribe him out of there. If we uh, control left click on our kingdom, we can see everything around us. So as usual, we are going to have to deal with the uh, Duke of Holland. Uh, even though he should be a Duke of also Gelray. He's got the uh, land for it. He's got over 51% of the duchy. Uh, we are going to be fabricating, fabricating on this guy, who was our uh, brother-in-law, but uh, he's no longer because we switched our uh, guy to Templar. Our council is discontent. My council is. It's probably because... Uh, is because we're new, technically, because we made a new character? Whatever. Uh, let's go assign a commander. Yes, you. Our cupbearer will really just be our, um... We'll just make our... It's no master of the hunt. We'll just make our vassals them. We need to find a wife. Is there a genius around? There's no genius anyone who's strong. We're going to have to not to use this tool. Find characters of um, our religious group. So you know, is a genius. Oh, they have to be not married. They have to be female. No one's a genius within our religious group. Are you kidding me? How about just like how about just in general? There's two geniuses in the world right now. Wow. Or women at least. Strong. There's a couple strong people. Um, who has the best stewardship? This lady. You know, more... Okay, so... We will be trying to marry her. She will accept because uh, we're awesome. She's a lowborn, so we're going to lose a lot of prestige here, which kind of sucks. But that's fine because I just need a wife right now who's going to give me awesome kids. Pick an ambition. There's no more ambition to uh, get married. We can acquire a title. I'm not going to take that right now. Basically, by clicking acquire a title you can actually um, ask your king for one of his own titles however what that ends up meaning is that uh, he might give you a like for instance if I asked him for it he if he does give me one it'll be like this one down here which I don't want right now I would want one of these provinces so we're probably gonna ask for something like a become ah, I don't want to become a counselor build a war chest we don't get anything if we do this. It just makes the, it just makes us like the king more, which doesn't really matter. Whatever, I'll, I'll just do it. Doesn't really do anything though. Um, let's do family so we can get a bunch of kids. And yeah, let's go. Let's uh, rank up the speed. There's already uh, factions popping up. Uh, this is this guy. Yeah, we're definitely going to be getting a lot of uh, increased council power things. Uh, we're actually going to raise our prestige because that just tanked it. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of those because uh, the council has zero power right now. I don't really care, to be honest, because uh, hopefully we'll be getting out of this kingdom. One nice thing about not starting as uh, on the Stamford Bridge mark is uh, we're not in the Holy Roman Empire. And it's a lot harder to get out of the empire than it is to get out of a, you know, smallish kingdom. Yeah, so we're going to be working on that. I do plan to get out 
as a um, duke who owns all of the province, all the uh, counties. And I'll, I'll explain that later, but uh, just keep that in mind. Because uh, there is a, I'm sure they meant for this to be a thing. Because it, it seems like it's happened before. It's something that used to be able to, used to be able to do a lot. But like, basically, there's this way that you can make it so your counselors have a, your council has zero power. So, there have been a lot of wars declared. We declared war for this province. And then we got declared war on for this entire part, so we're basically going to lose this. That'd be nice if the king lost a bunch of territory, that'd make him even weaker. Oh, and they're calling in allies. No, never mind, that's just the, just the guy. How many troops can we levy? Uh, 713, that's not a massive garrison to be honest, it's better than this guy. This person already wants independence. If the independence faction gets really big, I might join it. I'm going to jump in on this faction just because I don't think he's going to deny us. I think he's going to just accept our demands without even going to war. And more council power is better. There's no reason for me to like oppose it. You know, if the... You know, we're not going to win this now. Oh, he did call in Italy, actually. Oh, yeah, we know that's the enemy. Yeah, so we're definitely going to lose these two wars, but um, if we had won it, we could have asked them for this province, because that, that's not really what I'm dying to get, but it's still a decent province. Actually, he wouldn't have given it to us, because that's part of his main duchy. Our council's, our council's discontent. What do we want? We want some, uh, z we have some zealots, glory hounds, and pragmatists. Okay. Yeah, please get off my land. So we need some babies. Uh, we're probably going to end up forming the uh, Kingdom of Frisia. Uh, if that's formed before we can uh, do that, you know, if like an event fires where um, an adventurer comes here. Like uh, one of my previous attempts, an adventurer took over all Flanders from West Francia and formed the kingdom. He wasn't very powerful at all, but he still formed it, so... If that's the case, we can just go form our own kingdom. Wants me to be a commander. I'm not going to be a commander, because as a commander, you get no extra, like, rights. You don't get any more privileges. The only thing that happens is you have a higher chance of getting killed. It's a revolt going on. Uh, independence. That's a little freaky. There's not even a lot of powerful people here. It's just a bunch of really small guys. So maybe a Pomeranian or Greater Poland can go and eat everyone. This is the Golden Age of Bulgaria. They are massive right now. Peasants having issues. The Abbasids are pretty weak right now. Yeah, there's not really any super powerful uh, guys on the map. I mean, India's uh, doing really well, actually. But we're not really going to get over there. Yeah, apparently, I don't actually have the Raj, the Raj, Raj is of India, whatever, like the rulers of India. DLC. Uh, I thought I did because I saw the continent, but I can't actually play as any of the Indian uh, nations and stuff. This guy's just walking over my land. What the hell is going on? Yeah. They're just walking here, so I don't need to attack them. We're going to lose this fight. Yeah. What did you do? You attacked over a river. Nice job. Our wife likes us more. Okay, our scar is gone, or our wound is gone, so we have a. Uh, Better stats now and stuff. Now we're scarred, so now we get uh, more prestige. And hey, we got a claim. Um, I will be using this claim, but not right now. Uh, mainly because I'm afraid that one of these uh, armies that we're at war with is going to come kill us. So he wants me to be a commander again. I'm not going to be. I've got 15 marshal, which is pretty good. Could be better, of course, but I'll take it. I need to do some of these events because I forget exactly which one gets rid of what, but I'm pretty sure I can get rid of some of my uh, bad traits with these. Hold the summer fair. Gain stressed. Let's not do that. Gain paranoid. Arrest that man. I just lost 10 freaking gold. At least we're making our vassals like us a little bit more. I'm absolutely positive that, yeah, so he is loyal to the Pope, not us. 
If he likes us more than the Pope, then he'll start giving us taxes and I believe a levy as well, yeah. Right now he's giving us nothing. This guy is giving us almost no troops. That's fine. These, uh, I don't really know. I, I call them baron levels or like barony levels, but uh, I'm sure there's a better name for it. Basically like the, uh, so you have the, you have the counties, right? Yeah. I can't really show it, but we have the counties, which is what we are. There's the duchy level, there's the king level, and there's the empire level. And then below, even the count level, which a player can't even play, is like the barony level, which are these guys, these like subholdings. And uh, those guys provide such a small garrison, unless they're like really powerful. I've actually, one time, I don't really know how it happened. I know I gave them one of them, like one of the baronies, but then I guess he somehow got another one. At least I had a baron who had like three castles. And he was one of my most powerful vassals because even like my... Even I had a duke. He's down here in Italy. He was like the duke of, uh, I think it was Ancona. But he didn't own both provinces. He just had one. So even the duke was like less powerful than uh, this baron. So sometimes they can be pretty powerful, but nine times out of ten, they're going to be these really, really weak uh, you know, barons that can't provide a very large levy. What are you doing? You just gathered up some troops. Why do you have all your troops up? How was that? People were just laughing. He doesn't have any claims. Holy crap, this guy's a beast. I'm going to give you an honorary title because you're just... Oh my god. I'm... This was another horrible thing in our, uh, in our last attempt. Or not one of my attempts before is that uh, I could never get any claims on anyone, but I already have two. That's pretty freaking sick. Yeah, I'm afraid of these stacks. I know they're down here, but like, look, these an army could totally just come over here and kill us. You know, I really, really want to declare this war. I could probably declare it on this guy, to be honest. You know, should I do that? So let's see here. He has no garrison right now. I think as soon as this war ends, as soon as his thing gets unseaged for this war, I'm gonna go and attack him. One of our commanders died, I guess. You know, having a level 9 commander right now isn't the worst thing in the world. They're not great, obviously, but uh, 9 is not terrible. I've never actually seen... I want to see Burgundy be strong. I've only seen Burgundy a couple times since the uh, new DLC. And they've always just been... It's Okay, I've had it a few times where Burgundy's been provinces up here. Like, they had no provinces in actual Burgundy. I don't even know how they were the king of Burgundy. And then I've saw, I saw it once where... He had, like, a couple holdings here in Aquitaine, and then, like, these two or something. He was King of Burgundy, but they were all super weak. I want to see a strong King of Burgundy. Yeah, you might as well surrender. An effective spymaster must be able to uncover plots. Spymaster Bishop uh, George did not even manage to uncover, uncover a plot which was being planned right under his nose. They talked to him. Yeah, let's see, here they come. That's why I was saying, like, even though it seems like they were down here just mind their own business, if I had my if I had declared war on one of these guys, that army would have come here and attacked me. Even though they wouldn't have gotten war score from it, they still would have done it. Elective succession Burgundy. What are we right now? We're probably Gavilkind, right? Wait, Burgundy? Yeah, it's Gavilkind. I don't really care about that. I'm not going to join that. You know, it's got tons of support. Holy cow. And jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, you're actually attacking me, though. That's annoying. Let's kill you quick. What? Yeah, Z is to pull up the levy. It's not. Whatever. Let's die. Everyone's gonna come back if I disband right now. There we go, get the hell off my land. You're really unhappy with me, why? Short reign, he's envious, he's I'm slothful, he's temperate, while well, I'm gluttonous. 
and I have negative prestige. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna come over here and just murder this guy as soon as this war is over. I don't even care if we're at war with other people. Because right now, all of his holdings are gonna have super low garrison, so I can come down here and just eat up his uh, province. Of course, it's a... Uh, it's not the proper holding, so I'm gonna have to kill... What would it be? Oh, this chick. You know, I can kill her pretty easily, yeah. I can definitely, uh, if I kill her, that'd be awesome. She's only one years old? Yeah, I can do that. This war is gonna end... I'm going to capture this county, and then I'm going to kill the Baroness. Take her barony, make it into the county capital, then give away the, uh, the bishopric. And it's going to be great. I don't want you coming anywhere near my land, but you might. Oh, he's going after the army. No, 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 no. How about what? Why is why is this dumbass not freaking firing the faction? You want the king of East Francia? No. If he if he gains control of what was that Burgundy? Yeah, no, I don't want that. And one thing I love about this game is that um, so what you would assume is you'd assume that let's say East Francia comes over and takes over uh. Bavaria, right? You would think that Bavaria would be able to de jure border, so that's not always the case. For instance, Burgundy is not actually all Burgundy. These two prop. Oh, wait, no. That's a bad example, apparently. <laughs> but basically, what other vassals hold can be different, so uh, we ha I don't really have a good example right now. No. There's not really a lot of people who have two kingdom titles at the moment. Hmm. I don't really have a great example for this at the moment, which is really unfortunate. But basically, what can happen is, uh, like, let's say, uh, let's say this guy was a duke, and he controlled, like, these three provinces. Even though they're part of the de jure borders of Burgundy, if his le if he's, like, tied to Lothringia, right, like, if he's tied in this region... Even though all this down here, even though his two provinces are still in Burgundy, they'll actually count as Lothringia. So if the king dies right now and, you know, half of it goes to, um, you know, Burgundy goes to someone else, he actually won't take those provinces, which I like. Uh, our court chaplain died, it looks like. He sucked anyways. This guy's even worse. Great. There's a huge revolt in Italy. What's going on? Elective monarchy. Whatever. God is dead, crap. Mm -hmm. Squash this army. Yeah, he's just he's just being silly. No, I don't want other monarchs to be our king. Isn't that fun to look at? Actually, this would all be Carling, but there's a revolt going on right now. Isn't that freaky? Just look at that. It's Carling. It's Charlemagne's empire. God, it's just so many people. Yes, kill them. Kill them now. Yay, we're losing. I'm not being your commander. You're getting all your men slaughtered. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Now, uh, actually, next episode, I guess, we're going to declare this war. So I'll see you guys then. I hope you guys all enjoyed this first episode, and I'll see you guys next time.